sorry, manually just putting it back. And it's not a lot of fun to work with this uh, screen. You really have to be careful to touch this button. Just in case I would now press the button in the center, it would go to the home position and it would ruin my printer and my print. That's a bad thing. So I'll try to be really careful with putting the printer back. And this is the, the biggest step I can go right now. It's about 10 millimeters. It still takes so a lot of pushes uh, 60, 60 times <laughs> to get it in the left corner. So nearly there. Oh. Really interesting, huh? Okay. So it's on the very back. Gonna open it up, my aquarium as I call it. So, so I'll just open this one here up with one hand. So Ooh. nice and warm in here, about eight degrees here outside. No, it's about 12 degrees today, I guess. So let's see what we have here. So, as I said before, there was a layer shift, uh, and it's an X, it's a Y layer shift in this direction. Maybe just I don't know one millimeter, but it made. My guess is that it made the filament then down here just lose its track, and therefore. It just lose, lost the filament until here and then it got got its connection again and then it kept on printing so it was just one layer shift that causes that might cause this print yeah, to stop the next time and I also used as I said before I just used one wall layer on the outside on the inside here and just only 15% infill triangular shape just to make it really fast here so I knew I would suffer a lot in quality here there are some parts missing also on those construction items um, I'll have to discuss this with some friends what to do with the new slicer settings for this 0.8 nozzle and the speed and the flow rate I'm having right now there's the set uh, position I didn't do it random as I do it normally because I just like I don't like those this this set jumps on, on in one layer so in, in one line I would like to have it just spread all over it but with a print this size there's a lot of time just wasted in just finding the another random position to do it Z jump so I thought it would be better to just have it somewhere over here but you can see it from the outside and from the inside and I'm not really satisfied with all those Z jumps here so but it's not the biggest issue right now but anyway it kept on printing it was a solid print I have to check the motors right now yeah are they still hot or warm I can touch them it's warm but it's not hot at all and also this one here it's not really warm so that's no problem for the motors right now I was running with about 70 millimeters per second with an 08 nozzle layer height 0 0.3 and I think I'm gonna just do some segments of this prototype here 
for future testings and then I'll try to figure out what speed I can um, go with this printer but for the beginning I'm pretty happy with it and to finish this product I would need eight kilos and this is what I'm prepared for right now here's my eight kilo spool and I guess I'll give it a try with this spool holder holder I hope it will work because there's no bearings it's just a symbol holder um, for holding drum cymbals um, and it's a really stable construction maybe it would be an idea for some other folks to just get a symbol holder you can get them for 30 bucks 40 bucks and it really holds a lot of kilos and um, but it's just rolling on this rod here so I don't know whether the force is enough to get the eight kilo spool here to really work with it but it just it doesn't take so much energy to get the filament out of the spool and I only can hope that it will work with this eight kilo spool I'll just let you know so I guess that's all for now if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section and I will answer them I'm really really happy to have a Wi-Fi camera system here installed as I said before and a Wi-Fi uh, sockets down there to control the print and just to, to have an eye on it whenever I feel like when I'm at home because this one here my 3D studio is about 20 minutes away from where I live by bike oh yeah I just remember I wanted to check whether this set layer uh, this layer shift is on the same height no but it's not as the, the layer shift before because I remember I had three or four layer shifts and they were all pretty in the beginning after maybe one day or so when I just was feeling satisfied and okay with starting the print and then as soon as I have left the building this happened maybe I should just live here for a week and watch the printer 24 hours a day maybe this will help I will let you know <laughs> have a good time bye bye drop me a message um, as they all say hit the subscribe button and, <laughs> and send me your money for another 8 kilos wool thank you